Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to snipe on Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now sniping in Breakpoint is, I don't want to say broken, but it's a challenge. And that's just because the bullet drop mechanic in Breakpoint is broken. You might have noticed that sometimes the bullet will just fall off right out of the sky and there's really not much you can do about it. Now this will be much more noticeable if you are sniping from above, like we are over here at Camp Weasel, so choosing a gun that has a lot of range will help a little bit, but I'd say that the best help you can get is by using the Ballistic Advantage perk. Now this perk will give you plus 60 range, now what does the number 60 mean? No idea, it's not even a percentage or anything, but you can feel a huge bonus on the bullet drop. It will happen much later and it's a must have perk. Not just for sniping, this is a perk you want to be using all the time, it just makes things much easier with any weapon. Now for this video we're going to be eliminating Camp Weasel and we're going to be using the Zestafa sniper rifle. Why the Zestafa? Well it shoots like an elephant and has no silencer. So if you can stealth eliminate a base without a silencer, you will have all of the right bases to do it with a silencer. That's the only reason I'm choosing this gun, it's only for the extra difficulty. The Zestafa though, it's a beast of a sniper rifle, it has one of the highest ranges in class and has the highest penetration. Now having this extra penetration, no pun intended, is actually very handy as you will be able to take down targets that are hidden behind walls much easier. It also one shot kills heavies, so that's another plus right there. It does has a lot of recoil which may make follow up shots a bit harder but the sound it makes, man that sound is so worth it. Alright guys, that's enough of me boring you guys to death with the stats, let's get on to the gameplay. And before you ask, the Red Weasel Outpost is at the Good Hope Mountain, it's a good place to practice your snapping skills, so feel free to come here and get some training done. If you do feel like stepping it up a notch with even more range, the waterfall by the fuel storage on the channel's province is a must have for long range training. Alright, enough rambling, let's get to the gameplay. So when clearing a base like this, there are a couple things to consider. And it all comes down to target prioritization. Now the two types of enemies you want to get rid of first are the radio operator and the snipers. It is especially important to get rid of the radio man as fast as possible, because if you don't, he will call a helicopter or a jeep with some bad guys on, or even boats, and if you're playing on extreme, getting a heli after you is usually a dead sentence. Now on our case, we got a bit unlucky, our radio guy also does patrols. When that happens, you pretty much got two options. Kill him on the spot, alerting the base, but preventing any reinforcements from arriving, or try to kill him somewhere that nobody's going to spot the body. In our case, that's impossible, I know his route and I know he will always have someone near him, so shooting him will cause an alert. But that's okay, we are far enough that they won't know where are you unless you get spotted. And a good way to avoid getting spotted is by snipers, so let's get rid of those first. And even though we are using an unsuppressed weapon, we can still take them out without getting spotted because we are far away enough. Killing the snipers first will reduce our chances of getting spotted by quite a lot, but before going to the main target, it's also a good idea to take out any stragglers as well. Stragglers is what I call those guys that are usually on the hedges of the base to where no patrols pass by and killing them won't make a difference because nobody is going to spot the bodies. Alright, enough talking, let's get to it. So all the stragglers seem to be taken out, it's time to go loud. So as you can see they actually have no idea where we are. Even though we are shooting a loud weapon, all they know is the general direction from where the shots are coming from.
and that said, they might even walk our way, but it's still a long ways until they spot us. Eventually, they are going to hide from you, Sentinel aren't the brightest of enemies, but on extreme mode, they will hide from you, or at least from the direction of what they think the shots are coming from. A clever way to go around this is to either get another angle on the base or in this case make a diversion maneuver. Shooting the generator is a two birds one stone strategy. Not only do we take out the turrets, but now the sentinel think that we are on the other side from where the noise is coming from. It is very easy to take them out now, just shoot them in the back. After a while though, they will eventually hide again, so uh, using an airstrike for example, will lure out any remaining enemies that might still be hidden. And there we go guys, pretty easy. So a stealth takedown without getting detected, without a suppressor, and we achieve this by simply being far enough. So let's just do a quick recap on what we learned as far as long range snapping in concern for breakpoint. First thing first, spot all of the radio operators. If you can take them out stealthily, do it. If you cannot, then reduce the compound numbers as much as possible before going loud. Make sure you take down the snipers first before anything else, they are your biggest threat and must be dealt with before anything else. And if you can, take down as much stragglers as possible to reduce the enemy numbers. When you do go loud, make sure you kill the operators first, so the base cannot call for backup. And from there on out, it should be smooth sailing, being far enough that you cannot get spotted, it's always a good idea, and well, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I did making it, if you did, make sure you leave a like rating, I will greatly appreciate it. Also on that note, if you're looking for like-minded people to play with, then definitely check out my discord, I'm going to be leaving the link down below. But that's it for today guys, until the next time, have a good one and I'll see you guys on the next video. Custer signing out.